Okay, this video is relatively short. <laughs> but the person. I need to reveal the person to you. Do you you guys remember all the Lyle Convoy stuff? Yes. Who was like one of the better bullies to come out of that? I know because this was in my algorithm, so I'm gonna stay quiet. <laughs> Thanks to you, but my algorithm is fucked. <laughs> I I love that Jim basically called my algorithm an STD earlier. Yours <laughs> <laughs> affected mine with its neurosyphilis. Do you remember GG? Okay. GG. Uh, uh, partially. <laughs> okay. You remember that name, Gilded Poo? Oh yeah, this guy. Yeah, he commented on my Brian Mullins video. He was actually oh. interested in the Brian Mullen stuff before the Lyle Convoy stuff ended before all the fucking Thunderdome streams and all that. Oh yeah. Cause I covered I Brian that came back. way back. I don't there was a, do you, I really don't want to sit through another while well, Israel and Versa Palatine. No, fucking... I'm talking about like people <laughs> yelling at each other and screaming like pedophile. Oh. Like, did, like back when like it first started Oh, and it was like blood sport. Yeah, not when it that, became that was like better. Destiny panel. <laughs> not when it became like art destiny. Like back when it was like blood sports and like people wanted to murder each other. You like work. Israel and you trace your artwork. Well, <laughs> somebody comes in with the flamenco sound, but I support Israel and the Jews. <laughs> <laughs> Ten minutes. Yep. Ten minutes before that becomes even more relevant. Great time to apply this because I <laughs> we're we're meeting peak peak Austrian hour. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're on the verge of the Poland incident. <laughs> <laughs> we are at the border. <laughs> the Panzers are fueled and we are ready. <laughs> oh God. Let's hope <laughs> Russia bust. Previously Let's go. on <laughs> Brian Mullins the Fox. Hello. So this is part two of a video series that Gilded has done. I am not covering part one basically because he kind of covers the video that I covered already. Other than having some of this stuff, like this is Brian Mullins, by the way. Hi everybody, meet Brian. This is the guy that knows better about child pet pornography and pedophilia than any grown adult with a child, especially. Remember, Jim, like you're a bad parent. Children. He definitely, he definitely does believe in the Christmas rose because it looks like he's actually partaken in the consumption of children. <laughs> like, he, he literally does look like a cannibal. Oh my god. He looks oh, like everybody. a thumb. <laughs> look at him, he's a thumb. <laughs> Oh god. Hey, I'm Brian Mullins the Fox. I have I have nothing against you personally, Brian. I don't hate you. Hello guys. It's Brian here. And this is the result of lots of hard work, time, and effort. I don't buy any of that. By the way, we're watching this at normal speed because I can't take Gilded Foo on two times speed. And I sure as fuck apologize in advance because Brian Mullins at normal speed. You guys, you remember when we went through the fucking video? We went on it at two times speed. And when I dropped it down to normal, you were like broken. Yeah, he's like, he's like there's like something wrong there, actually. Like, so like, I like how he calls himself Brian Mullins the Fox, but he looks more like a fucking golem. <laughs> But like, <laughs> apparently, okay. So like, some of the some of the stuff that you're gonna see here, um, there was a doxing incident that's gonna be covered. There was a uh, there's been an ongoing feud that I have not been aware of between Gilded and Brian. Gilded has already gotten under Brian's skin to the point that like he abhorrently hates him, like. It's fantastic. He's already a logging him. Like it's so great. You guys are gonna love this. I swear. He's like the furry king cobra. 
You need to drop the whole furry shtick because it's rotting your brain. I'm not pro-CP. Of course not. I'm anti-CP, but I'm also against banning it. I don't understand. You're, you're, you're against CP. <laughs> I love how fucking Gilded, by the way, has the same reaction to a lot of this shit that we did. We just went overboard with, like, no, you're very fucking wrong, dude. <laughs> and, like, he's just more, fuck you, dude. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. P, but are in favor of it being legal. What? Anybody that tries to call me a pedophile, tries to call me pro pedo, tries to call for any unjust or undue murder or harm towards me for hurting your fucking precious feelings. If pancake batter matters to you the most, pick a wall and stick to it. I don't fucking care anymore. Pick a wall and fucking stick to it. He needs to go against the wall. This was the intro to his video, and I remember because it scarred me that much. <laughs> <laughs> I have PTSD from dealing with the fuck, man. I'm he almost sort of 25 in years golem old. Golem -like. <laughs> Oh, like, I love how his fucking, his fucking furry avatar here is literally everything he's not. Has hair. Check. Like, has eyes. Check. Is an actual living being. Check. <laughs> <laughs> not created out of stone. <laughs> not a pile of dump fucking flesh. <laughs> He's oh. like a trash golem. Like somebody just sewed a bunch of fucking trash cans and rocks together and gave it life. Oh my god, I fucking hate this dude. I strongly hope that he like has a massive coronary just from stressing out about children being eaten at Christmas. You know what, this is gonna sound really stupid and weird, but he smells like- he looks like he would smell like vinegar. <laughs> I, you know, I wasn't far off, I figured ammonia. <laughs> That's how he has to get himself to sleep at night. <laughs> he has to chloroform himself. Uh, oh, and I know for a fact that I'm right. I know for a fact that I'm right. See, like this this reaction here by Poob, perfect. I went off on this guy and spurred the fuck out. And now, I used to think that Brian Mullins the Fox was just a fucking retard, a he retarded is. virgin furry. And he is. after some careful examination, I have come to the conclusion that no, Brian Mullins the Fox is exactly the pedophile everybody thinks he is. If you have not seen, I love that he goes a step further by actually straight up calling him the pedophile word. I like how Vlad just, like, literally just walks up and shoots him in the head and doesn't waste any fucking time. Like, he's like, no. It's like, you know, it's like, he's like, instead of explaining why I should kill him, I'm going to shoot him in the head, and then and during then explain. my trial, I'll explain it during my trial. Like. Yeah, I mean, but it's, it's, it's great. I mean, it applies here. It fucking works. Yeah. It does. It, yeah, damn it. Seen those previous videos I mentioned? They'll be linked down below and probably up here in the corner somewhere. Fundamentally speaking, I will not be rehashing many of the things that I said there. And so, if you feel like you need more lore on the subject, we don't be happy for it. Chat, you don't realize the anger, frustration, vitriol, autism that I am saving you from right now. That would it's be a lot. <laughs> Somebody works behind the scenes here at the Strictly Patrick News team. It's a lot. Yeah. However, like... for those of you that know who Brian Mullins the Fox is and That's have us. seen those That's previous us. videos, I have a few We didn't see the previous video, but we still know who the fuck this fucking asshole is. Date number one I wish is I could go Brian back Mullen... in time when I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You know what? I blame Beckett of Krebs for all of this. Fucking Beckett, man. Which is extremely apropos, too. You'll find out why. The fox apparently lost a lot of weight. I'm trying to lose weight again. So far in the last two days. Does that voice sound familiar? <laughs> so is Beckett now just basically commentary Winston Churchill? I think Teddy broke him. 
because it's 257. It's close enough. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, I was going to I was going to have my heart lead in with uh, Teddy broke him with the Hitler fucking <laughs> fanfic. <the> fanfic. <laughs> <laughs> he just busted his ass down to the point that this man is now just a narrator for Brian Mullins, the man that believes children are being eaten at Christmas. We will eat them on the beaches. <laughs> we will eat them. <laughs> uh, when our ovens are no longer working, they will be roasted <laughs> by the new world. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> but yes, just so you guys know, it, it, credit's given at the end, but Beckett is the narrator here. <laughs> I've lost 9.7 pounds. I'll try to slow it down a bit, so even though I still lose weight, the rate of which I'll lose it will be slowed down a bit. By the way, as someone who has also covered this, I hope, I hope that Beckett of Crabs here knows that he's reading this at probably two to three times faster than this sentence would have come out of this dude's mouth, let alone fucking thought pattern. The dude thinks a Big Mac is literally meaning he has to go eat a fat kid named Mackenzie. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, fucking like, oh my god. Oh, man. I hate it Went here. from 222.7 pounds to 213 pounds. I doubt it will make a huge difference. 10 out of fucking 10. It's great. How did he lose that weight, though? At the library, it took me well over an hour to eat a huge cucumber, about 12 to 14 inches long. Now, Jim, do you measure your cucumbers before you stick them in your fucking mouth hole? He probably stuck it somewhere before he ate it. <laughs> before the incredible Tom ate it. Why is there so much sex and food on this fucking stream tonight? I mean, I, I was I was saving the Brian Mullins the Golem joke for later. I didn't want to play that out too quickly. <laughs> like, so I'm trying to like expand my repertoire. <laughs> uh, I just this man doesn't have a thought process. I I am convinced of it. Like everything just automatically falls into his mouth from some organic space on his body which there's a lot of and it just comes out yes it does because there's no genuine way anybody with a functioning fucking brain would type think speak live breathe anything the way this fucking dude does i fucking hate him and i am glad that he has a bully I'm glad it's someone like Vlad that'll just like literally step up and like execute him. Yes, Somebody you pick the relentless like... kind. You know how you relentlessly went at everybody and you knew best because you were 23 and three quarters and whatever fucking years old. Like, and you knew better than everybody, including fucking parents with children and you sat there and called them lazy and awful for not fucking exposing their fucking six-year-olds to fucking... Just sex talks, let alone sex acts, like, at an early right, age. Like, 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 my kid can barely wrap his head around Minecraft, right? Because of, like, you know... He wants building. your kid in the bedroom taking notes. Yeah, right? Like, it's like, I can't even get... Like, I'm struggling to teach my kid how to, like, make a proper base and, like, a farm and all of that. And he's smart. Like, he came home from school with his tats... Like, his math test was 14 out of 15. His spelling test was perfect. He's not a dumb kid. So it's like, and you, but you want me to try to, like, groom him for you? No, fuck you. Go yeah. die. Yeah, no, this is <laughs> this is that guy. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm referencing a little bit here. I should... Okay, there's another video that Brian Mullins did that I never covered on this channel. So there was the... There was the... We should stop persecuting pedophiles and make child pornography with consenting children. That this is genuinely this fucking guy's argument, okay? Not my so words. So he went the one step past the Vosh thing. Yeah. Where Vosh was like, well, if it already exists, we can't undo it, so why not just let it be real, you know? And maybe hopefully that'll lower child porn being made. He full on was like, no, let's make it. Like, yeah. He like, yeah. went Vosh plus... He, went, he like, went new game Vosh. 
Okay, yeah, like... <laughs> like Vodge's take was already dog shit. But, like, let's add to it. Yeah. Like, he New Game Plus on fucking Vosh thought processes. Anyway, this guy made another video doubling down on that fucking first video that I didn't what? cover because I got so mad watching it. Because this guy is so incomprehensibly fucking retarded. He gives retards a bad name. We need a new name for the level of fucking stupid that this guy is. We'll just call it the Mullins. But yes, he doubled down on the whole fucking play of, yeah, you should have your kid in the bedroom with you. Like, he literally, these are the words that came out of his fucking mouth. You should have your kid in your bedroom with you. No. Yes. Fuck no. Yes. Like... Now you know, like, why I didn't even cover this. Like, A, first of all, I knew you would get pissed off at it. B, I could <laughs> barely make it a second at a time without literally fucking exploding on this fucking dude. Hiroshima didn't have shit on me. Okay? <laughs> like, I was fucking explosively angry at this guy so you do not know how inconceivably happy it makes me that you have an appropriate fucking bully to pick on you for whatever is the length of the rest of your existence on this goddamn platform and don't think because you mention a lot that this is the only platform that you exist on you know, he's he's had to hide from... He's actually had to hide from Lyle Convoy, this guy. I've researched him this much. Like, never covered this dude. So he's the he, eye of... The autistic eye of Sauron, known as the Lion Man. Literally cast his gaze upon the kingdom of Brian Mullins. And you want to know what happened? He hid and cried about it on Bitch Shoot. He has actual videos up on Bitch Shoot. Because Lion Man scared him. And rightfully so. <laughs> you know what? This is the rare fucking Lyo Convoy W. Yeah, no. Kind of. Because I just wish he had, like, actually gone through. I would actually pay for the right of attendance to the goddamn Senate fucking stream just to watch him cry. Dude, I just bring him in and be like, Lyo, I will buy you this gunpla if you take this guy down. I will buy him a <laughs> lifetime... Okay, take this back. I will buy you a week's worth of McDonald's at a fucking Walmart for you to come in here and fucking bully the shit out of this dude. Just give him a list of Gundams. You can purchase one of these from this list on my dime. <laughs> like, like, I will even get you the paint. Just take this fucker down. Like... <laughs> but yeah, yeah, he has he has videos out there on BitChute and shit like that, like, this man is so... Uh, he gets under my skin like no tomorrow. There are few fucking furry fucking assholes that I fucking despise as much as I fucking despise this guy. The other one played Uno. Yeah, the one that uh decided to try to send us to the Shadow Realm for a week. No, not even that one. That oh, He really? is so far down the list. No, the <laughs> Uno guy is worse. That was the Nick Nobody dude. That fucking oh, sat there and actually had a kid in his too. fucking goddamn Discord. I completely forgot about that because all I remember about him was that he spurred over Uno. Like, I <laughs> forgot everything else around him. Like... Yeah, no, I fucking hate this guy. I hate him. So, like, take, take, take no, or put, make note of it. That's what I'm trying to think of. Make note of the fact of how much joy... This fucking video brings me as we go through it. I ate it all in one sitting. I totally believe that you just sat there at the local library scarfing a fucking 14 inch cucumber like some fucking thirsty f desperate to deep throat black cock and they <laughs> That is what he needs in his life. <laughs> you know what? If it fixes it, I'm not against it. <laughs> fixes it? <laughs> he didn't kick you out of that fucking library as a result of being a fucking weird freak speaking of weird freak we also have his crushes you see in a previous video I oh buddy now we get to go to this subject do you know okay brian mullins the fox um who do you think he crushes on that's totally not weird not gonna come back to bite him in any way shape or form and not be bullied at fucking nauseam by this fucking dude 
Rightfully so. Oh, no. Oh, no. Tell me. Disney characters. Are you fucking serious? I am absolutely 100% fucking serious. This sad sack of shit for a fucking excuse of a fucking fast-moving fucking sperm sits there and has fucking crushes over goddamn animated Disney characters. And you know what's ironic? That he was the fastest-moving Black... sperm to begin with? No, in Black Desert, on my Megu that I'm playing right now, I have an Alice in Wonderland-inspired outfit that was inspired by the Disney movie. You know? I hate I hate it here. I hate it. I hate how this is oh, buddy, all yeah. impacting everything. I'm... Let's do a through line. There's more. There's more, Jim. What? Oh, yeah. How Cause... can we get worse than this? Oh, because you're you're expecting it. Never mind. You know what? We're just gonna play the video. I had mentioned I that so. Brian Mullins the Fox is that kind of guy that would sit there and write this whole like furry fan fiction about how it is he just loves that weird character from All Dogs Go to Heaven too, right? What was the human character in All Dogs Go to Heaven too, Jim? I, I'm going to headcanon that it's the dog. <laughs> because that option is better than the real one. <laughs> and he's a furry, so I'm going to, like, I can manipulate the lore and headcanon. You're, you're in the wind column right now. Uh, I'll give you that. But Jesus fucking Christ, he's going to, he's fucking, watch. He had a massive crush. You see, he not only tells us what his previous crush was, previous to that character, but also goes on to say what his current crush is. Spoiler, none of them are human. Fun fact, I've had fictional character crushes before I had one with Sasha Le Fur in 2014 and lost my non-furry virginity. I hate this guy. Non-furry virginity? So what, is there like a, is there like two types? Like, you know, like, I've, fucked a person and now i fucked a dog like you know there are certain furries that need to be drowned no it's 3 12 in the morning i'm perfectly okay with saying gas chamber <laughs> <laughs> put him on the train and send him the first fictional character crush i can remember having as a kid was marlene from the penguins of madagascar I'll give it to him. At least he's not speciest. I mean, like, I, I, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but like, this fucking guy, I fucking hate everything. Anytime he opens his mouth, I fucking hate anything that comes out, including his breathing. Right? Like, I thought I was fucked for mine, but okay. <laughs> the first fictional character crush I can remember having as a kid was with Marlene from The Penguins of Madagascar. It's official. Zen the Corsac Fox from Kung Fu Panda 4 is my next official fictional character crush. First time in a decade since I established one myself. Why is it so- Who is establishing ones for him? Jesus Christ. Nobody, 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 nobody. Nobody gives a fuck about this guy enough to establish, like, he's acting like there's somebody out there establishing the crushes for him, like, he had the honor system this shit. No! No! It doesn't happen. I don't believe you know anybody in real life, including your parents, because they would have raised you better. They probably just threw him up in the attic and forgot about him. Just, like, one of those, like, mountain scenes for, like, where they just have a little slot in the door where they slide a plate under. Do you know the do you know the fucking movie 300? The baby they cast off the fucking ledge and it ends up becoming the guy that fucking betrays them all? That's yeah. him. It's him. But is he smart enough to do that power play? No. No, he's not. He will end up just betraying himself. I mean, he basically did. He said let's make child porn. Like like he basically <laughs> did betray himself and basically sunk him. <laughs> like Al in chat fucking got me on this one. All humans do not go to heaven. I hope not. <laughs> oh my god. I fucking. Uh, there's more. So difficult for you, Brian, to have a crush like a normal fucking person. You know, a Because crush he's not a normal here. He's not normal. He's not normal. What normal person has the thoughts that he has about children magically making fucking consensual fucking pornography 
for the courtesy of fucking pedophiles to get off to in some fucking goddamn, I don't even know the word because I'm blanking on it right now, fucking society. Well, and like, you know, like, fictional crushes and stuff like that, right? That's like one of those, like, coming of age things that like 90% of people have, I think. But like, I've never heard of somebody having one on a dog. You know what I mean? Like He doesn't need to be going to Kung Fu Panda 4 looking as old as he... How old was he when that movie came out? I doubt he was old enough to be in that theater for any fucking good valid reason. Let me look up Kung Fu Panda 4. Kung Fu Panda... Like, he said Kung Fu Panda 4. Yes. That came out March 3rd of 2024. Okay. So he was 23 years old or 25 years old, whatever. He's basically Pee Wee Hermaning, fucking Kung Fu Panda. I hate that you're right on that, but you are. <laughs> Retrospect, like ah, uh, uh, uh. I hate that you're right because you're solely in the name of a ba- of an otherwise good pervert with this guy. <laughs> otherwise good pervert. <laughs> <laughs> That was back in the old days where it's like, you know, the degeneracy is like, yeah, sure, he did what he did, but it, it was in an adult theater and, like, you know what I mean? Like, there weren't any children present. Like, you could be a degenerate without being a creep. Like, this man, no, man, this thing needs someone like Vlad in his life. <laughs> this creature, this golem, this artificial being needs someone like Vlad to chip away at him. No, he needs someone in his life like Vlad to just be following him around like the like town crier fucking ringing the bell. Shame, shame, shame. Every time from the moment he wakes to the moment he sleeps. That should be his alarm clock. Him, but, but <laughs> giant red CP on him. <laughs> like... Yeah, he'll have the scarlet letters. Great. You've, you've plus one done that, too. Good job. <laughs> God damn it. I am happy. Like, genuinely. Will not stop expressing my gratitude for Vlad to fucking bully the ever-loving fucking Christ out of this fucking dude. <laughs> like, like, I'm really happy as I'm talking about how I want this guy to die. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm t- I promise you, I'm really fucking happy right now. <laughs> like, There's joy behind my rage, okay? It's a joyful <laughs> rage. <laughs> a person. Instead of swatting furries, I think that that's a travesty. I don't think you should swat furries. Instead, you should send fucking animal control to their home so they can be removed from the premises and shoved into the pound and then turned later into fucking, like, furry slaves for rich people. But before I go into... And he's being kind. Very kind. I almost wish that he was a horse instead of a fox so we could make him into glue. I I, I was not gonna go that way, but okay. <laughs> I drop him off at Vosh's house. Nay. <laughs> You're like, you two have an obvious connection here. Children, horses, work it out. <laughs> <laughs> Someone gets to be the horse, other one gets to be the child. Fuck. But, like, I... I mm, this is bringing up a whole bunch of fucking, like, emotions. And all of them are rage. Having to, like, deal with this fucking guy again. The only non-rage one is Joy because, again, Vlad. Like, his, like I just am remembering how fucking pissed off his last video had me. Yeah. Like, I don't think I broke ten minutes into it. It was that bad. It, it, it's really hard, too, to make the argument of I don't believe in child pornography when then you're also then saying we should have consensual child porn like you can't how, how do you compartmentalize that you know like how long ago did he make that can we, can we go back to the joy of vlad picking on this guy with now the same spite hate vitriol know, I, I forgot that was even a thing <laughs> like, <laughs> but i forgot that we were even watching that like yeah, Al Neri. Advocating for a generation of Norman Bates. Yep. Back to Vlad. Depth of why I think he's a pedophile. Let's talk about some of the copium that he was spewing after his video talking about how we should legalize child porn was removed off the platform. So, 
I got bad news. The NBTD series I was going to start scheduling for August 6th will be cancelled because of this. The truth is so gruesome and scary, it's no longer safe for YouTube on this channel. It's still on BitChute and should hopefully still have it on Rumble. Now despite my issues with Brian, I'm a consistent person and so therefore I didn't think it was right for all those people to flag down his video. Vlad is a kind person right here. Like, and yes, my aneurysm still hasn't drained. Vlad goes out of his way to be nice to a person that I would love to see every horrible form of death bestowed upon. And does something that I know he regrets and I hope he has learned from. And I hope that despite the annoyance, the... The sheer just fucking hatred that he has carries over for eons. Genuine eons. I want him to torment and belittle and bully Brian, even in an afterlife. And if there's some karmetic fucking justice, I want him to find him in the next life and do it again. I like how you're like, I literally <laughs> am going to pray. To the point that Vlad ascends to become an eldritch horror that literally haunts Brian Mullins like his own personal Cthulhu. <laughs> so that way every waking moment he has, he can turn the corner and he sees it. It'll be, a, I want him to be a mix of Cthulhu and Slenderman. Where, like, he walks down and he just sees that that sign on the wall of the operator <laughs> always watching and he knows that no matter where he goes <laughs> gilded cthulhu is there <laughs> gilded cthulhu <laughs> <laughs> like the, the the golden the golden squid man himself looking ever for into his soul his pedophilic soul <laughs> <laughs> and destroying him inch by inch with all 14 inches of the cucumber <laughs> that he ate for lunch. Uh. In fact, I actually responded to his community post with my own, saying that everybody that flagged down his video are cowards, and I stand by that. They are very much cowards. So how did he repay this kindness? Although I wouldn't really call it kindness, but I digress. Well, he replied with this. It's odd that you went to bat for Brian when his video got taken down, and this is how he repays the favor. Vlad was and is one of the people who directly contributed to that happening by spreading misinformation, as in lying about what I really said, and how he put words in my mouth. Now, chat. Have I put any words into this guy's mouth? Or did I approach it, say my point, and then allow you to hear the words directly from his mouth and then further it by showing you why I hate him so much in an absurd amount of time that I was hoping would take 10 minutes? You kind of did the smart thing and let him speak for himself. <laughs> <laughs> like... I'm probably actively going to take that video link and send it to Vlad in the hopes that he will fucking be relentless. I will help in creating alt accounts at Infinim for Vlad to go after him. I'm giving him the same offer. If you hear the list of Gunpla, <laughs> choose one and I will buy you it. <laughs> I'm broke, but I can offer the services of creating multiple aliases and alts. <laughs> I'm broke, so all I can do is offer alogs. But let me tell you, I can be really unhinged. So, <laughs> Nobody put any words in your mouth, Brian. All I ever did was listen to the words that you said and then respond to them in kind. It's not my fault if half the shit you say is a bunch of schizoid nonsense like the following. I just figured out why parents would want to wait until the soon-to-be victim hits puberty. It is to give predators and the government more of an opportunity to get them while they're still young. And that puberty fucks with their hormones as well. Thoughts, Jim? 
I, I'm out of like vitriolic words to disp display my devout hatred for this subhuman sect of fucking sack of shit. What is he saying there? Whoa. Basically, basically, that parents wait till puberty to talk about sexual education because that allows predators in the government more opportunity to get at the children. The parents are literally exposing their children to predators and the will of the government by waiting till puberty to tell them about sex education. The government angle makes no sense. No, it didn't in this first video either. The, the soon to be victim hits puberty. So are you so you're advocating for underage people to be victimized then? Basically, with that phraseology. Basically the because... way he's wording it is that by the way parents wait uh, let me word this better. By the way parents wait until the age of puberty to talk about sexual education, it's already too late. Yeah, so he's advocating for allowing his um the children to be violated before then. To some extent, you could say that, yes. <sighs> Unfortunately, like, kind of somewhere I mean, around it here. It makes no fucking sense because at any age, at any time, anyone could be a fucking victim, regardless if they get the birds and the bees talk. He makes no fucking sense as being the fucking fastest sperm in a fucking plethora of fucking other options. I kind of want to meet his parents. I, d d meat? I kind of want to make his parents into meat. Well, well, bring so, a shovel because you'll have to dig them out of the hole they're in. So, let me preface this. My cat is retarded. <laughs> okay? <laughs> okay? I, let me cook for a second. He doesn't know how to cat. He didn't know how to cat until I got our other cat, right? What? His, what his... do you mean he doesn't know how to cat? He literally didn't know how to cat. He didn't didn't know how to do cat things until he got spice, and then like he all immediately was like, "Oh, this is how a cat should behave." What right? like purring, eating cat food, chasing no, mice? No, but like yeah, like chasing mice. Like he like we had a bird. He literally broke into the cage and sat with it. Like he wanted to be friends with it. Like literally, like when the bird died. He literally went into the cage after the bird died, like after we buried the bird and everything. He literally went into the closet, sat in the cage, and howled for hours because he missed it. Like, so he didn't. His friend. Yeah, he didn't know how to cat, right? His mom. Oh, come on, cats can be friends with birds. Well, here, here, uh, and I, I'm circling around, so trust me. I have a point. His mom had feline Down syndrome. Because his his mom was the only survivor out of two litters from his what his grandmother was. So I'm wondering, like, are his parents like like Yang's mom? Like, is his mom a downy? Like, okay, is... hold up, he, he, <laughs> feline Down syndrome. So just being next to another cat <laughs> grew back the other chromosomes. Well, no, it's it's one of those things where like that his genetic line has a lot of like bad <laughs> mutations like the uh, one of the other cats died of a seizure like like within like a couple weeks like his brother his twin brother that like literally like ha he had a seizure with like within like a couple weeks so like the like there was like some fucked up genetics there so i'm wondering is like is brian mullins like like ying like is his mom like super downy like, and this is just what we're seeing. Has you retardation I mean? bred this level of retardation, basically? Yeah, yeah, basically. Like, <laughs> you know, like, he doesn't know how to human, right? Is he like my cat? He doesn't know how to human because he's his mom was downy and, like, nobody put him with other humans. Like, I would, did he, like... <laughs> I would almost believe that if he wasn't so fucking goddamn, like, cocky and, like prideful i'm think i can't even think of the word that i want to like egotistical arrogant. arrogant about the fact that he knows the best way to human well i mean to your uh, little example there jim this guy's been around other people i mean he's not like uh I mean, would you really classify discord fairies as people though well <laughs> i mean look it's not like he's uh what's the guy's name from the goonies the one that was kept in the basement and given a Snickers bar. Ch uh, is it? No, I Chunk's think... the fat kid. Yeah, Chunk I does the truffle shuffle. That's 
part is, I'm just sitting here and I just want to say chum label. I'm like, this is a bond card. <laughs> I'm just saying, he, he's uh, he's not like the the, the AU guys. Uh, that guy. He's I don't know. He, he's not the horribly disfigured basement dweller. Well, maybe the basement dweller. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he does have some looks only a mother could love. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's not like he's... Oh, Sloth. He's not Sloth from yeah, the Yeah, there you go. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, God. If it wasn't for me being pro-Vlad bullying, I would almost stop the content here. But it does get better. Unfortunately, <laughs> though, Beckett does stop reading soon. You know what? In the interest of my sanity, I'm going to jump this up in speed. <laughs> Ryan, that doesn't make any sense. That is fucking insane. The fuck is wrong with you? Build yourself a bird furry outfit, climb to the tallest fucking building you can find, and then leap from it. Fly like a bird, fucking lunatic. And to make matters worse, one of his pals is uh, arguably a pedophile. Because not everybody on the planet has quote-unquote intrusive thoughts about grooming children. So tell me about... Okay, for a second thought, I thought he was talking about Grim's skull there. <laughs> My bad. I just, I, after I heard that, I looked up at the screen and I saw Grim's skull. Like, what? <laughs> Nightmarish uh, trauma symptom that sprouts out after three to six months of being on constant survival mode. Motherfucker, you you make it sound like your life is Minecraft. Yeah. Like, it's like the Jason like, Bourne of pedophiles there. Likely the reason their intrusive <laughs> thoughts of grooming and three to six months of being in constant survival mode is the joke. Oh, God. I just was silent because I can only do this in small doses for my mental stability. I, I don't... <laughs> I, oh, the joke's helping. <laughs> <laughs> like, how are you, like... Yeah. Like, you, like, yeah, I, w I had to go three to six months with being an actual person and not a furry. It really fucking sucked. Now I want to fuck a child. Like, what? <laughs> what? When you're... When you, like, you know... I've taught, like, in therapy, it's like, you know, what are your cool, like... That's what a do word you do that he's for... never heard of. Right? What do you do, <laughs> you know, to, to relax, you know? And I'm like, play video games, you know, listen to music, you know, spend time with my family, and, you know, my my pets and shit like that. This motherfucker is like, if he gets asked that, how do you, how do you cope with things? Hey, I, I just think about the neighbor girl and I want to just fuck her. What? <laughs> yeah i want to invite her to show her how to play with my legos if you know what i mean what <laughs> what oh, okay it's like fucking old yeller him sorry <laughs> old yeller him. <laughs> about the intrusive treat him thoughts. like the dog What's is that about murderous mongrel trauma symptom fucking nightmarish trauma symptom that sprouts up after two to six months of being on constant survival mode Likely the reason their intrusive thoughts of grooming is because the topic was a constant discussion point at the time when I first had any. I don't care if you claim it's some symptom of some fucking gay shit or what have you, it doesn't fucking matter, all right? Nobody is just casually walking down the street like, fuck, I want to groom a child today. Nobody thinks that way. So you've heard his takes on child porn, on his animal crushes, and we now know that one of his pals is most, uh definitely at minimum sus, but I would call a pedophile personally. I would not trust Mongrel to watch my kid. And I most certainly would. I wouldn't trust any of these people anywhere around any fucking child. Right. Mine Can or I... somebody else's. Can I also <laughs> like... say how I appreciate his name is Vlad, but he looks like the most American trucker ever. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, you, like, you would think that he would sound very Russian, but he is like the guy that I would like barbecue with. Yeah. And then we would go and find Brian and we'd just curb stomp him together. <laughs> like, like, it's like, hey, do you want to start a mob? <laughs> like, do you want to start a mob? <laughs> do you want to start go... a riot? <laughs> Come on, we let's go, go out and side full... play. <laughs> we go on, on and burn his house down. And then we, because we're men, we rebuild the house and then we burn it down again. Just oh, full pescator. God. <laughs> wouldn't trust 
Brian Mullins the Fox to watch my kid because what follows and what follows is clips from a video that he titled uh, how to actually raise your children. Yeah, really. For the first two to three years, here are the only things you would need to do when it oh, comes to taking care this. of and raising said child. Number one, change their diapers anytime you smell a stink that's impossible to ignore. But don't change their diapers too often because... Anytime this fucking guy speaks, I completely blank it from my mind. So I apologize that we're recovering and retreading some information here, but at least you got the entirety of the context. You're welcome. It would just be a waste of diapers, say between one and a half to three hours when they're a newborn, and by the time they're a toddler or two or three years old, once at best every ten hours. Every kid is unique though, this isn't a set in stone, be an end all estimate for when you should change a toddler's diaper. Every kid is unique. Some have sudden steamers, and others have cappy logs. By doing this, you should save somewhere between $200 and $500 on diapers alone each year. So right out the gate, Brian is quite literally promoting child abuse. The reason why I say it's child abuse, for those of you that don't have children, whenever the kid shits themselves, if you don't change it immediately, they can develop a rash, a very uncomfortable rash, and it can get infected and all that other not fun, gross shit. If you don't change the diaper every time and just let it sit there and fester, that's ultimately generally the result. You actually want to change the diaper immediately as soon as you smell that smelly smell. Brian. And even in between then, checking them to make sure like if they're wet, it's changed. Like these are basic, basics of parenting skills. Like, the utmost basic. Kind of like, breathing is basic for most people, but I believe it's actually a fully conscious fucking process for this fucking goddamn sack of shit. Well, yeah, and, like, my kid, like, when he, like, he had, um, an issue, like, his urine was very acidic. <clears throat> yeah. So, like, if you didn't change him within, like, 10, 15 minutes... He would literally have, like, rashes, like, burns on him within, like, 10, 15 minutes. Like, it, that's how bad it can get. And you're telling me that I should have let him sit in that for three hours to the point where it would probably have burned him raw. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I felt bad because, like, I went, like, you know, my ex at the time was sleeping. I went to get a shower. He must have done it right before I got my shower. I came out, and he looked, like, he looked upset. I'm like, what's wrong, bud? And I, like, you know, went to change his diaper and he had, you know, rashes already. And I'm like, when did you do this? And I, I, Daddy just checked you like 10 minutes ago. Yeah. Like, yeah. And this, but no, this is the guy advocating. For three fucking hours. Oh, no, 10. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I gave him some benefit of the doubt. 10. <laughs> or until the kid shits. Ryan is yeah. literally promoting the opposite of that in the effort of saving money. And if really saving money is the goal, why not just say, well, fuck the kid entirely and just never change their diapers. Just let them shit all over the fucking floor and piss all over everywhere. Wouldn't that save you? Pro tip. Or just, don't have don't a have kid. Don't have a kid. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, Brian Sorry, doesn't have Jim. to worry about that. Brian doesn't have to worry about that. <laughs> like... Not if I ever fucking find him. <laughs> he doesn't have to worry about a lot of shit. <laughs> I don't think the incredible thumb will be reproducing though. It's like he's Scrooge McDuck, but for diapers. <laughs> right? I, I, I'm curious where he got that figure from, too. Like, oh god, that's the thing. Is like I, I don't believe him of singular thought enough to have originated any of these ideas on his own. He read these somewhere. Probably his Discord. <laughs> it, 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 it wasn't oh, from do you think there's some kind of brain trust he pulled this from i i was thinking of like magazines and books or something well, you know, however outlandish that. like <laughs> i i cannot believe that this man is capable of self-thought to this extent i think he's construed a bunch of ideas assembled from a bunch he's basically fucking legion of doom created how to raise a child from all of the worst, all of the worst options you could choose. And he believes that this is genuinely the best, and for that he should be put to death. Loads of money on diapers? You could just use a reusable diaper. If you really, really are that money conscious. Brian has no idea what he's talking about. He has no kids. Nobody's ever gonna fuck Brian because he's a fucking virgin and he's fat. When they're babies that don't even have their baby teeth yet, and if and the mother fat. can naturally lactate, <laughs> let her pucker them up until they reach the age of two.
You know, in, in, in all honesty, I don't even know if Vlad used the fat thing against fucking Lyo. Like, yeah, you've driven... like Colonel Mustard and everything at McDonald's, that one uh, voice call. Yeah. You've driven him to the most, like, like, reptilian of levels of fucking, like, trollingness. That is how awful you are, Brian. Know that. I hate that I gotta, like, hear his voice. I'm honestly not looking forward to hitting play just because I have to hear his voice. <laughs> Two years old. When they develop teeth, keep them on baby food supply until they're all developed and the child can eat food. You know what? I, I can actually just skip forward. We already heard, like, all of this. I can just go to just the parts with Vlad. Thankfully. In no way, shape, or form is that manipulative, abusive, or anything. Nope, nope, nope. Please, for the love of fuck, Brian, cut your fucking dick off. If any kind of yours... Yep, see? Like, we can skip this. We don't have to hear any of this shit. I can just meander. The process of intercourse without scarring you any further for life. That is child abuse. Showing your children porn is child abuse. Brian, that's, um... Hello, darkness, my old friend. That is both child abuse and insanely illegal. I cannot believe Brian, unironically, thought it was a good idea to pull up OBS or whatever the fuck and be like, Yo, I'm gonna advocate for showing children porn. But anyway, in this same video... Not even porn. He's he's being charitable in seeing porn. The, as, to take a quote from Gigi, he wants them in the splash zone. <laughs> he wants you to perform live. Yes. Yes. He wants the live show. Fuck the replay. None of that synthesized shit. Remember, this is the guy that also, you know, was sitting there and saying all the fucking claims about how porn is actually a fantasy, it's not a real construct, and everything else. Ugh. He gives a little bit more copium on his legalized child porn video being removed from the internet. All my video promoted is a multi-pronged approach of legalizing all porn, including fictional CP, by phasing out illicit CSAM material and even CR material, so that child traffickers are run out of business that way. The problem with this, as you guys will you come to learn, You just opened the floodgates even further. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, but I know everyone bitches about the war on drugs, but it does at least put a fucking stranglehold on the majority of the shit they could get away with. It's the same thing when it comes to child porn. You know, I would argue that it's even worse when it comes to child porn. Because if you legalize all drugs, there's going to be a high death rate for a period of time. And then people will smarten up and it would stabilize out. That. that will not occur, ever. Like, nobody, no, no pedophile is going to goon themselves to death, even if they're fucking echo of tragedy levels. Well, I mean, they won't goon themselves to death you know by themselves but there will be like you know some assisted end of life care when you touch the wrong kid oh yeah oh yeah yeah i mean the same could be said if you st touch the wrong stash but like i just unfortunately it won't be at the same levels let's put it that way you know i don't know I, i'm gonna throw this idea out there if you want to legalize uh, child pornography, then I think you should legalize the parents executing the person creating the pornography in defense of their child and letting them have vigilante justice. So then that, then that would be the great equalizer then, because then you could have it, but if it's my kid, then you die. And then that's how you balance that out. <laughs> I don't think you would want that, Brian. <laughs> I don't think you want that. So maybe we should leave the system the way it is. <laughs> because I don't mind getting unhinged and shooting a motherfucker <laughs> if they want to touch my kid. I don't mind it. Oh, man. Actually, I do mind it because I might use a knife because that'd be more personal. And I could like really savor the horror on their face of like, wow, I really should have fucked someone else's kid. I Unhinged moment there. I apologize. No, 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 no. Uh, considering all the things that I've said here, I yeah. already have enough to cut out on my own. <laughs> yeah, the idea of skinning him, someone alive and then, like, making a fur coat out of them. I just... Uh, this fucking guy, like, I seriously, like, do not understand the level of fucking ineptitude that it takes to breed a fucking human being, so to speak, as him. 
definition of what porn is. And once you learn what his definition of porn is, you'll quickly understand why this rationale is stupid. And stigma, in only this one context, and one context alone, is the same stigma surrounding porn in general. Not just child porn, because people are too fucked to get the difference between that and actual child abuse material, or even child rape material. Because the said abuse material isn't staged or faked, it's real. People making money off of that trivializes the very definition of porn. Porn is supposed to be staged. So to translate for the normal viewer that isn't a retarded furry okay. version, what Brian Mul- Hold up. <laughs> the uh, How should I even put this into fucking words that he'll understand? <laughs> Fucking a child is already illegal, so recording it is doubly illegal. Just because you get rid of the recording illegality doesn't mean that you would not be committing a crime if you're recording yourself, you know? Well, that that was his brilliant fucking, you know, 7D chess move here, 5,000 IQ, big smooth brain guy here. Like, he was going to have the kids do it all. Well, they don't even know how to do it. And again, it's like expose them have... how to do it. Well, see, that's what that's where you're wrong. You're supposed to groom them ahead of time to know how to do it. <laughs> see, you're, you're missing the big brain play here. They're supposed to be groomed and ready by the time you're recording. Remember the splash zone. <laughs> yeah. They're supposed to have detailed notes, you know, by three. I'm really gonna have to check it and check to see if he has a Nambla card. You know, I wouldn't be surprised. And honestly, I think that would be the most egre least egregious act that this thing could have committed. Like honestly, Nambla comes out, we don't claim him. <laughs> like, not even. They not would. Even. They oh. claim. They lay claim to anybody, almost yeah, he, as much as like you know, the the Mormons be, do to dead people to induct them would, into their you know. Hall of Faith. He would be the Hitler, though. He'd be, like, the one. Like, we don't claim him. You know... Like, he would be the one. That's funny. I actually just had Mormons come by today. And here I am. If they <laughs> only fucking knew this kind of shit that I'm covering. <laughs> they never <laughs> knock on my fucking door again. <laughs> you know what? Check out... I, I preach good word on this channel. Go check out Strictly Patrick on YouTube. Go watch my <laughs> Vlad video. <laughs> what you need to do, what you need to do, is just invite them in, right? You're like, let them sit on the couch. Like, would you like a drink? You come out, you give them a drink, and then when when they were like, before you start teaching me about your word, let me introduce you to mine. And you just pull up the video of us screaming about pedophile ghosts, and then like. Vlad, and be like, does your church agree with bullying pedophiles? Because if you do, I am in. And you, just, like, and you will, and say, if you can sit through this video, I will convert. And see how badly they want it. <laughs> I mean, look, make I already them... told you, they convert you when you're dead, or at least they'll try. Yeah, make them work for it a little bit. Yeah, like, them have them sit down and watch the Brian Mullen series yeah. and see their well, thoughts. Let, let them leave with more scars, and then... <laughs> I'll be like, I'll, like what, what happened? I'll be the place where religion goes to die. Anybody that comes across my door, it's like crossing it's the like, gates of hell. It's like, it's like, Brother Samuel, what happened during your mission trip in the city today? It's like, I saw the gates of hell. I saw I the mean, gates of hell and it was furry. I mean, there's the obvious fucking Mormon pedophile joke with Brigham Young. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine that though? It's like Church of Mormon declare holy crusade against furries. Against specific address in Iowa. My apologies to any Mormons in the, in the audience. I'm sure the three people that watch us are Mormon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, you got a weird surname there in your fucking universities. It's like, when Belinda comes out as Mormon, she just gets pissed at you. 
well, she already came out as Canadian. <laughs> Canadian Mormon. That sounds like hell. <laughs> I've seen the gates of hell. It's Mormon Canadian. It's Canada yeah, Mormon. Yeah, she'd have like a pair of magical maple underpants or whatever that protect from fire, knives, and bullets. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just like a pair of long johns with a red leaf on it. Oh my god. I just, I, I would love for my apartment to become the place where religion goes to die. <laughs> it's like the Lion King. They're just sitting out like on like the rock. And they're like, you must preach upon here and here. What about over there? It's your apartment complex. We don't go over there. We don't go over there, Nathaniel. You do not preach there. That is the dark realm. <laughs> remember, remember, brother Samuel? That is why he necked himself. <laughs> we, away, lost, brother. we lost 15 good Mormons, brother, to that address. <laughs> they went off to join the furry crusade. <laughs> This rumor has it they're still searching for the prophet known as Brian Mullins. <laughs> One of them was arrested as a furry extremist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> All right. Supposed to be staged. So to translate for the normal viewer that isn't a retarded furry virgin, what Brian Mullins is actually arguing here is that child pornography as we know it isn't actually pornography because it isn't staged. But the problem with that is that if you look up the definition of pornography, it doesn't have anything to do with it being staged. In fact, it just says anything that depicts any sexual act for the purposes of enticing somebody. I'll be posting the screenshot, of course, of the definition on the screen if you want to look at it. This, of course, would include the weird romance novels that white women read for some reason that don't even include images. So what Brian is saying here actually runs very contrary to the very definition he says is being trivialized by calling CSEM material CP. What he's essentially arguing in a nutshell is that child porn would be fine if it was scripted, budgeted, and staged. And produced by children. I think he did bring that up in the original video. Am I being wrong on that? I'm pretty sure that was part of the, the schema. Yeah. Like, yeah, never mind. No, he literally talked about like having like it like end to end professionally yeah. like like end wait, to end so they, like, these kids at the age of five have to have like video editing skills and shit like that well no, obviously you can't have an adult be contaminated by this kind of <laughs> stupidity <laughs> it's, uh, like, it's like how it's like how ironic we're going back we're circling back to the victorian era with like child labor <laughs> yeah you know, here's the thing like you know that book that gets uh, memed about and everything everybody poops it's like this dude literally wants the fucking field manual everybody fucks yeah for kids yeah i thought you were talking about the bible you, for a second i'm not gonna lie and you found the, the book that everyone names <laughs> on i was like oh mine come <laughs> The fact that we went to the total opposite extremes on that, by the way, Mein Kampf in the Bible it was everybody poops. <laughs> One person well, I mean, went... it's full of shit, so. One people went to pooping. One went to, One went to Christ. The other went to Hitler. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> This is the diversity of thought we have here. <laughs> Christ and Hitler pooping. <laughs> he would be okay with a pornography that features a child or a minor, and as long as it's staged and scripted, it's perfectly fine, right? I mean, this is ignoring the fact if you actually just go on the internet and look up pornography, no, not the definition, like you go to Pornhub and look at it, all pornography involves penetration. Okay, not all, but most. So in essence, he's still arguing for kids being penetrated on video just as long as it's scripted and staged. Anyway, now that we have all of that established and out of the way, let's go into the clips that I harvested from Brian's four hour fucking yap fest of a video that he- Oh yeah, the, uh, bless him. For, he watched like six hours of Brian Mullins' content for this video. And it Ow. was 
two videos. The video that I gave you 10 minutes of in content. <laughs> and a four hour fucking live stream. And I, I'm going to disappoint you, Jim. He doesn't read Mein Kampf or not. That whole wow. fucking stream. Damn. Like, would have been an improvement to my, to, you know, <laughs> fucking Brian Mullins. Oh, God. All right. I need to desperately pee. I'll be right back. I'm just leaving it paused, by the way. I should have just hit play. <laughs> no, we'll just dead air it. So that way we can make the dog a good joke. <laughs> you thought I was talking about Mein Kampf. Oh. Yes, I, did. I literally I don't know how you were gonna word it into it, but I'm like, you know what, it's past three three o'clock at Hitler I mean, hour. So, uh, <laughs> I mean, we're talking about how he's like this fucking idiot wants to introduce this shit to kids, and I'm thinking like, what's the kids book everybody memes on? It's like, oh yeah, everybody poops. And I'm thinking like he wants the fucking field manual version of that for kids where it's like everybody fucks and like I get the bible and mind comp as the two <laughs> suggestions well, if you're gonna groom your kid would you rather groom them to be fucked would you rather groom them for like I guess like leadership positions I don't know the bible does that plenty yeah but both see, ends. mind comp does it for politics what happened <laughs> <laughs> Patrick is like, how badly am I gonna get struck? <laughs> Do I need to rewatch nah, this? Just like, <laughs> I was just saying, like, why did his, why did he jump to my comp when I was thinking of the book that everyone memes on for kids, which is everybody poops, and you come up with the Bible. <laughs> Because uh, given the subject matter we're talking about, this is something for kids. I'm trying to think of what's a kid's book that's so outrageously fucking dumb in the title that's supposed to teach them something about life. I'm like, oh, yeah, everybody poops. You just imagine, like, your kid, though, like, it's, cool. it's reading time, and they all crack open a book. One's, like, the ugly duckling, and they're like, like, my kid just cracks out my cup. <laughs> <laughs> oh like, my look, God. I, you need to understand the ideology to work against it like, by Brian's you know? theory like I mean it, it sticks <laughs> right you want and then we're like why was he reading my couple it's like you don't want him to be a pedophile would you <laughs> it's like there's all it's like, look, I'm from the internet. We have two things here. We have pedophilia or we have Hitler. It's like, and I'm not, I, I don't want my kid molested. So it's like, it kind of made the choice for listen, me. Listen, listen. Like, I have a friend who's a furry fox on the internet, and he's told me that after exposing my child to grooming-like behavior, I was supposed to have them read Mein Kampf. Like, do, do you see a problem here with how I'm raising my child? Do you want them to be a pedophile? Just... And I'll just send his teacher, like, the fucking <laughs> Ryan Mullins, and then the next day when they get to pick him up, they'll just march out in lockstep. Be like, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> like, she gets it. His teacher gets it. They're goose stepping out. <laughs> oh, God. Why does he have to be so fucking retarded? It, it all fucking honestly. Like, why is this guy so fucking touched, so goddamn stupid? Like, I seriously yeah, I think of something. there has to be a level of spermal damage that occurred before he even got to the egg. Did he go through a Twinkie? I gotta ask, um, since we're on the Hitler hour... Oh, uh, oh we are? <laughs> yeah, we're talking about furries. Why hasn't there ever been, like, any, like, I don't know, goose furry? Or feathery, for that matter? I'm sure there is. I rarely see them. The only one that came close was John Swan. I know there was an armadillo one I found at one point. I thought that was pretty yeah, like, everybody, is, everybody goes for like fox or wolf. Like everything's so overrated. There's like five well, animals. I mean, you know, I actually well, asked I mean, that you, fucking you would question. Think the Hitler somewhere. furries would be a ge would be geese because you know goose stepping. Yeah, I just uh, I swear I asked that question somewhere. Well, it's like, it's like you see, like, somebody, like, this is my first owner, it's a wolf. It's like, oh, great, so you're, like, 
the pumpkin spice latte basic bitch furry. <laughs> like, you're not even interesting. You're just another wolf. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa, didn't see that one coming, buddy. <laughs> I swear, yeah, I swear I saw an explanation on that. I think it was something to do with the fact that, like, they feel it was, like, the most easiest to uh, anam- anamorphize, basically. Okay, so I just literally googled cool animals. Okay? Just cool animals. Axolotl. Right? That'd be a badass persona. Humpback whale. There's plenty of fat people that could totally make that work. <laughs> <laughs> Angora rabbit. Like, come on, Pippa can't be the only furry, right? Like, can't be the only one. Rabbits are actually I... pretty, pretty high, um, substandard, or like pink subset. fairy armadillo, common raccoon dog. Yep, there is raccoons, and I, I did, like I said, I know there was one armadillo, and I, I, there was a lot of effort that went into that furry costume. Giant spider crab. Where? Hello. Um. Seahorses I've seen. Blobfish? I think that's them out of costume. Can you, I would just love to see a blobfish. I actually, you know, we're just... watching one right now. Let's see. Coolest animals not, on the planet. Not Vlad, by the way. Vlad, I love you. Do not stop bullying. Ever. Snails? <laughs> Snails are pretty badass. Well, yeah, but they we got slugs. Yeah, but they, they, they yeah, sleep. Yeah, we already got a slug. <laughs> Listen here. Yeah, slug on a half shell. Still, they sleep 30 hours or more. That's literally what these furries do. They just lay in bed and sleep, right? Well, like, I would keep slug out of trouble. I don't know. I, I mean, I mean, they plan they a lot. slept for 30 these, hours These are your more. people, Jim. Your state hosts, what? like, the biggest furry convention in, in the world, I believe. What? Yeah, I'm not kidding. I am genuinely not kidding, actually. <laughs> what? <laughs> I am honestly 100% not kidding. I think it was in, like, Harrisburg. What? <laughs> that he did relatively recently. Oh, and by the way, just for funsies, the last few clips I showed you and the clips I'm about to show you now were all mined from six hours worth of Brian Mullins the Fox content. And you might be thinking that was like, you know, three, four, seven videos. No, no, it was it was two. It was literally just two videos. Let's look at this. This is a giant schizo post by Brian. He just went completely off the deep end, and it is fucking beautiful. On April 13th, 2024, the- This made my day to hear, by the way. Like, like so much. Like, and I think in calendar days, I think the Titanic sank just before the 100 year anniversary of Brian Mullen's fucking psychological death. 110 years, maybe. So his brain death happened right when the Titanic was going down. <laughs> his brain was on the actual boat. <laughs> but no, it, in all seriousness, this is fucking amazing. This is how I know Vlad is the right person to be that endless pursuant of Brian Mullins throughout any and all lives. The same day that Gilded Poo initially premiered his response to it, he highlighted something he called BDSM porn indirectly as some kind of parody of Irwin Allen's Lost in Space. He highlighted two examples of him buying pornography, and I'm just going along with one of them because I couldn't decipher what the fuck the other one is in the lower shelf of his bookshelf. And the fat sack of potato shit just tells me that I need brain surgery because of this. Come on, really? That's the best response to what I've said about it? BDSM porn, he said, he purchased indirectly. One of the two he had the balls to point out as a gotcha against my argument that's similar against those who are in favor of the war on drugs. It had to be a porn parody, but I couldn't find anything BDSM about any pornographic parody of Irwin Allen's Lost in Space. But what I found is hentai. But even some of the hentai with the name Lost in Space might also be based on a manga known as Astra Lost in Space. Why Vlad may lie about it being BDSM and not hentai at all is totally not suspicious at all. The only type of parody porn... He broke him. And I'm here for this. Because... He was staring at his fucking bookshelf? Yes. 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 I guess he missed the house DVD there. (laughs) Oh no, he was trying to like dig around like... You know, again, the 7D chess move that Brian's has to pull here is to look around and root for the cause of all this. Because, you know, the Good clinical professional enhanced. here. 
horn of Irwin Allen's Lost in Space that I could find even coming close to the Lost in Space title, and how he referenced it is hentai. I don't know exactly which one he's referring to as an argument against me, like I said just before, but either it's a porn parody of a manga where all the characters in it are 17 years old and are all technically underage except for the mother figure, or the epilogue where they're all 24 except for the mother. Or it may just be a porn parody that also happens to be hentai, but it may just be the same as the other option. Besides the point that it's fucking weird to buy and collect porn to begin with when you're an anti, and he's no better than those who jerk off to underaged porn as in hentai, if that's what he was ever referring to to begin with, just for not jerking off to any of that shit himself when he's an anti with porn. And that's to say what he referenced in his response video to LFC1 was actually hentai that includes underaged characters with all of the major ones being 17 years old outside of their parents. Well, I'm guessing he's using pedophile terminology because he's using anti. Yeah. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he's basically saying that he, uh, that Vlad is anti pro pedophilia. Sorry, I had to wrap my fucking brain around saying that even a lot. Um, and so, like, because of that, it's weird that he has this apparent hentai, which it's he, Vlad's gonna get to it. But, like, this man has built out from seeing a bookshelf an entire thought craft uh, just because this guy has relentlessly bullied him. And I, I love it. You know, uh, you know, I can actually now, but honestly believe that he came up with all of this on his own, because if he has this unhinged level of over analyzation over a book, imagine what happens when he has full access to the internet. Yeah. But yeah, he, he actually totally can make the, the, the roast and all of this on his own because yeah. he's just, he literally is connecting dots that aren't there. He's making <laughs> the dots to connect them, like in real time. Like, he's like, people had ovens and they had children, thus they must have cooked their children. Like, Both of these things like, existed at the same time. Do you realize yeah, the implications? He, it couldn't be that they wanted to maybe roast a chicken for their children. It had to have been them eating children. Yeah. There's just no other response. Oh, I love this. I, I do genuinely, wholeheartedly love this. By the way, there is like a burn that this man cannot conceptualize at the end here. And puts him on the list of antis that turn out to be gigantic hypocrites for that matter. Wow. Just wow. So I know some of you may be confused on what the fuck he's talking about. What he's talking about is a clip from my more recent response to Brian Mullins. I'll play that now. So what's really funny about what he's saying here is that it's very akin to an argument that I've made in the past that we should legalize all drugs because at the yeah. end of the day, it's better to have a. I hate to even say this, but huh. uh, Vlad, you look like Jeremy Ham, Jeremy Hambly. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I, 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 I'm sorry, the, the, the lumberjack look that you got going on just reminds me of the quartering. <laughs> the beard, the hat, the arguing with idiots. You know, there's more correlation here that we'll get to. Huh. Don't tell me he lives in Wisconsin. I, I don't know about that, but you'll probably pick it up once <laughs> we get to that. Like what, what the other correlation is here legal market than a black market and besides who the fuck wants to support people like the cartel i mean they use the purchasing of drugs to fund other things that are far worse than the purchasing and selling of drugs and beyond all of that you know who won the war on drugs drugs and you see that's a lot different from purchasing pornography of any kind whenever i go and i purchase a bottle of elijah craig i am just purchasing my ability to get super fucking drunk what i'm not purchasing is an entire idea i'm not purchasing the celebration of an idea i'm just purchasing a drug however when i go and i purchase let's say i don't know bdsm porn i am not just purchasing a plastic disc if they still sell those that contains a video file of two people having bdsm now first of all did you catch the other jeremy reference there Alcohol. Alcohol is the other Jeremy reference. The... Yeah, but... <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's pissed down a basement too. The other thing is, is that I want to go back. Plastic disc, if they still sell. Now, <laughs> he's talking about plastic discs here. Not that any of these arrows are pointing at BDSM porn. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's Blu-ray, then there's DVD. Yeah. I kind of figured. Yeah, <laughs> one of which is SpongeBob. Well, 
Yeah, <laughs> it's a man has sad. a disc in, in entertainment <laughs> in entertainment room. So let me let me go back just five seconds more. Purchase, let's say, I don't know, BDSM porn. I am not just purchasing a plastic disc if they still sell those that contains a video file of two people having BDSM sex on video. I am also purchasing the celebration of the idea of BDSM sex. So I'm doing a lot more than just purchasing an object. In other words, Brian, the legalization of the possession, distribution, and use of drugs and alcohol differ from the legalization of child pornography. This man is a super autist. You know, Jim's point's making more fucking sense here because he couldn't pick up from that fucking sentence the goddamn context clues that he's talking about plastic fucking discs and thinks that he is drawing arrows on screen to the BDSM porn that he has on his shelf. And somehow, his brain was still capable of a small rationalization to say, Spongebob isn't BDSM, so it must be the other smaller title to the left. Oh my god. Okay, so, this guy is about, about <laughs> as dumb as a family guy bit. I mean, he serious. Li he like, the context thinks... clues. He it's, literally... It's... Oh, hold on. It's like, it's like the episode where Meg gets a boyfriend. And Peter is like stalking them at the restaurant. He's dressed up as a Chinese guy. <laughs> <laughs> and they spot him at the table and Meg confronts them. And she's like, Dad. He's like, Peter? Who Peter? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say Peter. I said Dad. He's like, Oh. <laughs> the funny thing too is the level of thinking Brian Mullins is on. Brian Mullins like inadvertently just tried to then accuse Vlad of backing his point then. So then he's attacking somebody that literally is on his side then. Because if he's saying that his Yes that he has BDSM pornography in the open next to his child's SpongeBob disc then that would mean that his children would have access to sexual content, which means that he then also agrees with his point. So he's attacking somebody that agrees with his point then inadvertently. Yeah, but it's a 5D chess move here. It's the fact that he's attacking a guy who attacked him for agreeing with his point because he didn't agree with his point while attacking him. <laughs> Yes. So he's, literally, he's literally argued himself into a wormhole of all. Oh, wait a minute. I just thought of something. Well, what was the what were what was the name that this Brian dumbass was saying that he gave him as the name of the BDSM porn? <laughs> Hold on, I gotta go back to that because <laughs> I can't even remember. Uh, something lost in space. Oh, yeah, because there's also, like, an Irwin anime. Allen's lost in space that I could find. Erwin Allen's lost uh, in space. Oh, my God. <laughs> I think he just... I think he just read off the spot what those DVDs were. Yeah, because well, if you look lost at in the space. titles... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the next one has to be Erwin... <laughs> It could like be said, lost in space, or it could be pornographic lost in space. Like I said, like, sure. he saw the arrows pop up, and like, he immediately was like, oh, those must be the porn. He's pointing out the porn for me, thank God. So he's reading off two different things, Erwin Allen and Lost in Space, and he's conjoining them, thinking that it's the name of the porno. Yes. What the fuck? <laughs> Uh, like i said he is the perfect man to bully this guy like i will concede i will say my shit don't get me wrong i mean i will this relentlessly guy also bully this guy but like he's met his match and he's not realized it yet <laughs> sure. this brian mullins guy is dumb enough that even dad jokes fly over his head <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's like, what was the name of those BDSM porn DVDs you pointed to in your video? Uh, Irwin Allen's and Lost in Space. <laughs> it hurts how dumb he is. Like, it hurts. Aren't you glad that I played this video all the way through, though? Like, yes. Like, it is so rewarding at the end here. And there's another burn. Purchasing and selling of drugs. And beyond all of that, you know who won the war on drugs? 
drugs. And you see, that's a lot different from purchasing pornography of any kind. Whenever I go and I purchase a bottle of Elijah Craig, I am just purchasing my ability to get super fucking drunk. What I'm not purchasing is an entire idea. I'm not purchasing the celebration of an idea. I'm just purchasing a drug. However, when I go and I purchase, let's say, I don't know, BDSM porn, I am not just purchasing a plastic disc, if they still sell those, that contains a video file of two people having BDSM sex on video. I am also purchasing the celebration of the idea of BDSM sex. So I'm doing a lot more than just purchasing an object. Is it, In other I don't words, know, Brian, a 20th anniversary box set? <laughs> I just, I still can't get over the fact that uh, this guy saw I mean, those arrows pop up and had the justifiable thought in his mind that it could not be spongebob or he couldn't read well, the title well my point is is like i don't necessarily agree with the celebration of the idea because i mean if you're buying alcohol to get drunk or like you know to enable yourself to get drunk i mean you're buying porn to enable yourself to have an erection and then release it yeah I, I just don't get the celebration argument, so I'm thinking, like, you know, was it a 20th anniversary edition box set or something? <laughs> well, I think what his argument is, is, like, when you purchase something in the market, you're supporting the idea in the market. So, like, buying child porn would say, like, we want more child porn, so that's how that would be, that's why it's outlawed, right? Because you're creating a demand for it by purchasing it. He's saying, I think he's trying to make the argument that, like, when I when I buy alcohol, it's just alcohol. It's not, like, uh, the consumption of, like, an ideal of, like, let's make more of this pornography. Yeah. Well, I mean, you could, you could literally say that for alcohol is because you empty their stock. They have to refresh it, you know? Yeah, but... I, I, I get what you're saying, but I, to me, it's like... I, I, I'm looking at it more of a... abstract rather than ideal, ideal, because, I mean, I don't know. The celebration bit just threw me off, because it's like, eh. <laughs> well, I think it's because it's... I mean, it's like, made the example content. doesn't... I mean, the example he brings up, it's like a utilitarian mm -hmm. use, and I'm thinking of porn as a utilitarian use in yeah, that you're... example. No, I get it. You're looking at it from, like, the functional basis, right? Of like yeah, what, because he, he gives a functional means. basis. He gives like a functional basis argument for the alcohol. The alcohol. And then I'm thinking like, okay, so he'll follow that up with the porn. I'm thinking, wait a minute. What's the celebration crap? <laughs> well, I think it's because it, with alcohol, it's not content. It's not somebody. It's not somebody. Well, I mean, it's 100 proof. So it's about eight, like, you know, 50% alcohol content. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm being nickel. Yeah, yeah like, I, I see what you're saying. I, I do. It's like, right? it's like if you're going to use words for an example like this for a direct comparison, make sure they mean the same. Just say it, Vlad. I, I yeah, honestly, I have no problem with how he said stuff for the sheer fact that this guy was retarded enough to look at that bookshelf and think Lost in Space BDSM porn exists. <laughs> okay, like <laughs> and it must exist next to SpongeBob. I don't know. There should have been one. He should have just had like a, a list of DVDs there that'd be even funnier. Oh like, god, you know, dazed and confused and shit like that. Oh, it, it, there's more to this. It's funny. <laughs> like he gives him so much context here. He gives him all the rope to hang himself with. The legalization of the possession, distribution, and use of drugs and alcohol differ from the legalization of child pornography because when legalizing child pornography, what you would actually be doing is normalizing the set of behaviors it celebrates, the very set of behaviors that the whole of society in the majority of the planet woefully condemn. This motherfucker saw an arrow that was pointing right here. Oh, and then explain on prohibition. <laughs> so he zooms in very thoroughly. Asserted it was on. <laughs> Wait a minute. Those aren't DVD. That's not a DVD set. That's a VHS set right there. It looks. I think it, what this... his arrow was like vaguely pointing towards was maybe this. I don't even know. But like, the fact is, is that this man just misconstrued this whole argument for no reason other than to push. A narrative that nobody was even talking about. Oh wait a minute, I got I got confused. 
<laughs> the house DVD box just kind of threw me off there for a sec. Oh. <laughs> on Arrow that was pointing right here on SpongeBob, asserted it was on Lost in Space. You must be talking about hentai and lolicon. No. And in that clip, I said you're not just purchasing plastic discs, assuming they still make those, whilst having a shelf of said plastic discs. It was me making <laughs> fun of me. Somehow, because I happened to use BDSM as an example, he saw an arrow pointing at SpongeBob, thought it was pointing at Lost in Space, asserted that I was talking about owning BDSM porn, looked it up, found a lolicon parody of Lost in Space, and then asserted <laughs> that I was a lolicon. But the question that I really have, Brian, how did you even know where to look for lolicon? That's fucking weird, Brian. Is it... Dude, fucking Oh, there's baited. always Google. <laughs> fucking baited. <laughs> Now you know why he's I mean, the I'm perfect sure he used man. Google. <laughs> like... Yeah, but even so, now that he used Google, Vlad can come back and say that he Googled Lollicon. <laughs> so like so so even if he even No matter he what this guy loses. Lolicon, yeah, he, he might not have had to go to lollicon.net, right? Well, but I mean, like, he... I get I get the joke and everything, but that is a pretty dick move if you're trying to pull it on someone who's like actually looking into what these fuckers are into. Yeah, but Brian deserves it. Yeah, <laughs> like... yeah I'm not gonna argue. Brian deserves it. I'm just saying. <laughs> I love how the end argument to all of this is fuck this guy. <laughs> yeah, right. Like... <laughs> if it was anybody else, we'd have a standard. But fuck this yeah. guy. <laughs> <laughs> Is this really what you meant, Brian? When you said you were gonna show everybody a different side of Gilded Poo, aka Vlad, that nobody has ever seen before? I'll also expose a different side of Vlad you've never realized before. If that was really what you meant, Brian, <laughs> I could not possibly be more bored out of my fucking mind. That was the most boring <laughs> own I have <laughs> this thing, I did everything just sort of stopping and calling this guy a full blown fucking retarded spazoid fucking poor sack of fucking flesh. Like, <laughs> you fucking idiot. You stupid flesh sack of fucking goddamn waste of air. Like, what? Why don't you just send him a Harry Carey kit? <laughs> he probably wouldn't even know how to use it. Uh, uh, he'll, he'll just send him a DVD of Star Wars with the one scene where they cut open the Tauntaun with a lightsaber. <laughs> just do this. He'll, he'll get it, he'll open it up and see a disc of Star Wars and be like, now he's sending me child porn? <laughs> It's like, it's like, no, it's literally fucking Star Wars, bro. Like... Use the force, Luke. Is that the BDSM? <laughs> He's like waiting for it. He's like, this is a really lame porno. Like... I mean, technically, you could use the force for BDSM. I mean, Darth Vader chokes motherfuckers out all the time. <laughs> Like, is, it, is, this a, is this a BDSM, this giant leather man just choking people with psychic power? Like, the psychic leather man just choking people? This is not the BDSM you're looking for. Dude, I just like the idea that he... It's now my headcanon that he thinks that, like, Darth Vader is a BDSM psychic leather man. <laughs> Around people. <laughs> oh god, he's really into it. That's why it's all that heavy breathing. <laughs> uh, he's getting off as soon as we speak. <sighs> so you can hear the anticipation. Oh, I mean, if you want to go that far, you could imply Darth Vader has a ball gag <laughs> that he communicates through. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got like God. a special leather and plastic helmet. <laughs> so Vlad's into leather fat. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. 
have ever seen in my life. Generally speaking, you're trying to own somebody on the internet. You don't, again, generally speaking, make up an entire fucking schizo post that really <laughs> does nothing but make you look fucking insane. In fact, some might say that's the opposite of getting an own. But now as we're coming to the end of our discussion of the pedo furry incel virgin, we're going to go into my favorite clip from the aforementioned four-hour fucking yap fest of a video. And I love this clip so much. Nobody wants to be gilded poo, a sometimes financially irresponsible when it comes to him buying too much expensive booze like Elijah Craig. Disingenuous, degenerate, hip. Do you guys know anything about bourbon, scotch, any of that? Uh, depends. Where, uh, what kind? Like Elijah Craig? Isn't that like $200 a bottle? No. No. No, I've actually got, uh, I've got the exact same. I might have a different, like, type flavor wise. But I've got Elijah Craig sitting up on my refrigerator, and I've got even another bottle that was a step above that. And is that bourbon? Yeah, the bourbons. Yep. Okay. And uh, yeah. Hey, yeah. it's it's uh, Bourbon Heritage Month. Is it? Oh, great. Yeah, September. Oh. Well, so how much was it? Like seventy. He he goes through this. This that's what I said. This is like the best burn ever because this is gonna fly over fucking Brian's head. Well, will... that's what bourbon is supposed to do. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! It's like it's like nineteen dollars to seventy dollars a bottle. It's like literally the cheap shit. He's trying to make it sound like this guy's spending all his money on alcohol when he's getting like a literal the bourbon equivalent of a six pack. <laughs> oh, but it gets if it's better. More than five dollars is too much. It gets Wait a minute. What's the name of the brand? Better. Elijah Craig. What's okay? I was gonna. I for a second there it popped in my head. I'm like, wait a minute. Did he say Elijah Schaefer? And I'm like, Fuck. <laughs> it's late for me. <laughs> oh, we're almost done. Him buying too much expensive booze, like Elijah Craig. Disingenuous, degenerate, hypocritical, anti-porn, moral. Fa Out of everything Brian has ever said, I have never felt so offended as I was when watching that clip. You see, if Brian actually spent like. 15 seconds actually googling the elijah craig small batch i was drinking in my video on him he would have noticed i actually have the exact same bottle that means because i have small batch as well that that bottle is around 30 dollars, as you can see on the fucking screen here i have a <laughs> bottle of jameson stout edition that was about i don't know it was like 36 dollars, 35 dollars, something like that johnny walker black label that was about 45 dollars at a wall Pretty good stuff, by the way. Platinum, I liked a little more. Blue, I couldn't tell the difference between that and platinum. All greens. But Vlad, you got to realize <laughs> that that may be drinking money to you, but that's like rent money for him. <laughs> oh, that's man. You need that money. money. He needs to buy all that money for the fruit roll-ups he gives the children. Oh, the, this burn is not complete yet. It, it's going to escalate drinking throughout this video. Lafroig 10. Great shit. About 50 bucks, Brian. $50. Isn't that crazy? Art Beg Cory Vrecken. I pronounce that terribly, but I don't care. And that, Brian Mullins, is $120. The expensive booze, the actually expensive booze that I showcased here, the Lafroig 10 and the Art Beg Cory Vrecken, are not bottles that I purchased out of my own pocket. Those were provided to me by my gracious subscribe star supporters that will be listed right now. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> so he didn't even spend his money buying the alcohol. He yeah, took it. Brian. <laughs> Jesus. So that was the biggest fuck you at the end, you fucking idiot. I didn't even spend my money on this shit. The most expensive shit that I have, I bought with Scribestar money support for people that like me. <laughs> that level of pettiness I appreciate so much.